what is a Brummy Red? Well, uh, a Brummy Red is uh, uh, a Man United um, supporter, uh, primarily from Birmingham, but, but not solely from Birmingham, from Birmingham and surrounding areas. So going into um, Warsaw, Wolverhampton, uh, even a, a south as Coventry, all that area. L like the uh, Man United fans from uh, London. The Cockney Reds. We know yeah. Cockney Reds. Uh, I've, I've read quite quite a few of the old um, uh, football uh, top boys from um, the 70s yeah. and 80s sort of thing, where I thought they were okay, um, but it, there was an awful lot of um, just following um the, the same narrative you know yeah we turned up we, we kicked fuck out of them sort of thing and uh we never got run and, and, yeah yeah never ne no, no one ever run and it all seemed that the, the, the same sort of uh same old same old but yeah. what what i wanted to do with with red all over is look on the dare i say that the more lighter side of things where I've never um, put in the book that I was one of the top boys or anything like that. A few times I've, I've been in some of the, the, the top boys' company, but I've always been one of United's top boys. Just one of the, the thousands of, of Reds who would turn up and jack the lads, if you like. We were there for the crack. Um, you was on the wrong end of a police truncheon in St Etienne. Where, wherever we went, we, we'd all sort you know, we take the place over. Yeah. It obviously never always works out like that, but, it, you know, as a cocky sod, you'd always think, you know, we're, we're, we're going to do the business sort of thing. Soon as uh, the United fans um, started uh, having to go back at the, the French lot, um, the, the right police was in there just just so quick. It was unbelievable. One, one second that there was no police or uh, uh, riot guys on, uh, on the terraces and, then all of a sudden, just truncheons are just Come flying. Out of work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, even when you went down, they were giving you a kicking sort of thing. It, it, it still really carried on. Yeah. yeah. There's another away trip <laughs> at Dusseldorf in the book. Oh, right, yeah. Um, and you were shot at. Called her back over again and said something in German and added Manchester United. This guy then pulls out uh, a revolver and and takes takes a shot. 20 feet away there's this um this guy with his uh, with the gun up in the air like that and the um uh, the barman holding his wrist trying it's to stop him from, him. Yeah. from uh, shooting again um i immediately i, I had the door li literally to, to the left of me and i, I dropped down when, when the second uh shot went off uh, again, probably watching too many B-movies. B oh, my God, he shot me. You know, I've been eaten. Turkey now in Istanbul. And uh, yeah. you were bricked by police, not bricked by fans, but by yeah. Istanbul yeah. police. Well, that was the um, the first and definitely the, the, the last uh, football trip to Turkey. They are on a different level. You could see um, the, the, the silhouette of... Uh, I don't know, half a dozen, maybe uh, eight figures um, that were up there. And they, they were making a, a, a right racket as, as we started uh, uh, approaching them. And as we got almost level with them, we noticed there was no lights at the back of the uh, the ground where we had to uh, walk over. And a, a couple of uh, uh, guys, like I think, put a lighter or something like that on. As soon as the, the, the lights uh, went on, these coppers up on, on this bank, which is probably 30, 40 foot above us, started throwing um, uh, half enders at us and all, all, all sorts of uh, uh, abuse in their mother tongue sort of thing. Yeah. Um, uh, what, 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 what are we going to do to us uh, if, if, they, uh, if they got hold of us? And it was just unbelievable. And just, this just, was their police? This was their coppers. We saw driving on the uh, other side of the, the road bridge, going the wrong way, uh, what I can best um, describe as, a, as, as the Black Mariah, the old uh, uh, big police vans where they used yeah. to throw 15, 20 uh, guys in at a, at a time sort of thing. As I say, driving the, the wrong way and through the open door was um, uh, a couple of coppers 
hanging on with one hand and massive Galatasaray flags in the other, waving them across the road and zigzagging through the oncoming traffic sort of thing. It oh, was wow. it was just mental. You couldn't um, you couldn't imagine our old Bill teaming up with Man United or Liverpool fans or uh, anything well, like that, could you? 